Every breath that I take, it is for you. Every move that I make, it is towards you. I will bow down my life here before you, singing. I'll shout it from the mountain top that everything Hey guys. Hey. And I'm going to go and bath cuz I need to be woken up like bro. I'm tired. I had a very long day yesterday, oh my gosh, and I had one the day before that, and the day before that, so I haven't really taken the time to sleep for 10 hours yet, so yeah, I might just do that today, who knows, <laughs> so um, as you can tell by the title, I am getting baptized, I'm so excited and so nervous all at the same time, so a little background, let me give you guys some lighting. A little background so um it's not the first time that i get baptized right the first time that i got baptized i was a baby and my 20th baptism anniversary was on the 14th of october today is the 24th of october so it seems like october is my month um yeah so this is more so like um you know usually like when you get baptized as a, as a baby you don't know what's going on you don't i don't even remember that i was baptized as a baby let's start there <laughs> and because i know what baptism is i made the choice for myself that i want to get baptized so it means even more you know what i mean and yeah like um i'll probably talk to you guys like you know like in detail and stuff like that like soon um i just have to go and get ready and stuff and yeah so i actually ordered a dress that i was going to wear right i ordered it in advance trust me but she only shipped it out on monday today's sunday like they took like so long to ship it out and it only arrived in south africa like two days ago bro and like customs got paid late also so i'm literally only gonna get those um i'm only gonna get the dress on monday which is like tomorrow <laughs> so it's very unfortunate but it's fine because i do have white clothes that i haven't worn so yeah i have a lot of clothes lately because of you know vlogs and stuff like that and i haven't worn all of them so yeah because i wanted to wear special you understand and i'm also gonna have a cooked meal as I should because I've been eating extremely extremely unhealthy for about two weeks now because I was at Sun City and then straight after coming from Sun City I was at Rez and that Monday to Friday which was the Friday of two days ago I had to work extremely hard to get an assignment done it was a group assignment but you know how group assignments go they don't get done by the group um no shade no shade no shade but yeah man anyways i'll catch you guys in a bit even in my suffering you saw and no redeem is even in my suffering you saw and over reason dependable in all your ways you are still sovereign over wind and waves you are consuming fire in my darkest days a pillar cloud covering i pray i mean joy comes in the morning Joy comes in the morning. And there's no way we can let you down. So keep your head up, knees to the ground. Don't get Yeah, joy comes in the morning. Yeah, joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in. Hey guys, so I've eaten breakfast and stuff as you've seen and I just got changed. So I'm wearing my green and my kimono simply because my white one looks horrible with this dress and I didn't plan the outfit. The dress I was supposed to wear is still in customs. It only gets delivered on Monday, tomorrow, so I had to make a plan. So I'm wearing this dress of mine. 
I think I unboxed this kimono and this dress in the same haul as these shoes. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I think so. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I'm wearing these gold shoes of mine. And I'm also wearing the dress of mine as well as this kimono. And I'm going to be carrying this bag. So, the dress is from Fashion Nova. So is the bag and the shoes. And then the kimono is from Sheen. The beautiful thing also is that my glasses match my outfit and my bag because it has gold and green finishes. <laughs> so I am going to be going to church right now. I am not going to be vlogging on my camera. I'm going to try and get some bits and pieces of um, church itself on my phone. Because I'm not about to sit here with the camera as I'm twilo. No, I'm not doing that. I'll, I'll do it on my phone. <laughs> And then yeah, I will I'll just keep you guys updated. Um I'm really gonna try my best to capture as much as I can. But um yeah, I'll show you guys. So see you in a bit. Sometimes in our life, as we live life, we have so many things that are circumstantial and situational. And sometimes it's so easy to focus on those things that are circumstantial and the way that we're dealing with things or the things that we're facing in our life and the feeling that we have on the inside when we look at life and, and the promises of God for our life. But the truth is this, is that we got to learn to look at what Jesus says, who Jesus says we are, what He can do in the situation. we got to choose the truth about the reality. And you know, there's a great story in the Scripture where God says to Moses and He tells him, says to him, I want you to go in and possess the promised land and all the promises that I've made to you. And you know, today, church, I want you to know that there are so many promises available to us in Jesus Christ. There are promises of the promises that God has for your life, for your marriage, for your relationship, for your health, for your finances, for your well-being. There are promises from back, from the front to the back of the Bible that God has made. God says to Moses, I want you to go in and I want you to possess the promise. And so what Moses does is he sends in a group of men to go and look at what's happening in the land. And it comes in Numbers chapter 13 and it says, this was the report that they brought to Moses. They said, we entered into the land you sent us to explore. And indeed it is a bountiful country, a land flowing with milk and honey. And here is the kind of fruit it produces. So you know what they're saying in Moses? We believe that what God said is true. We believe that there are promises of 80 for us. That there is potential in the land. And, and God's got a better life for us when we enter into that land. So they acknowledge that. Because of Jesus' life on this earth, uh, Jesus impacted this earth so much that He is known to be the, the, the most popular figure that ever walked this planet and, and because of that our lives have been transformed he's the central figure of human history and transformed so many lives of, and lives of people around all around the world and I love what H.G. Wells says he's a novelist and historian he says this I am an historian I am not a believer but I must confess as an historian that this penniless preacher from Nazareth is irrevocably the very center of history. Jesus Christ is easily the most dominant figure in all history. Sometimes we make five mistakes. Yes. It was a surprise. It was a surprise. Hello, family. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> It's the merch for me. It's it's the merch for me. You know, you know, you know. Love it. Yeah, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Right, right. So we're about to get baptized now, guys. So this is my cousin, man. You all know my cousin. We didn't know that we're both getting baptized at the same place on the same day. It's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence at all. You know, we got the merch or whatever. Thank you, thank you. Lovely, lovely. Period. Where would it take me? I want to know. 
Baptized in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And amen. And you know, if people can tell, is there an after party? Yes, there is the Holy Ghost party. Period. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Stops. We're on the same Uber to heaven. Period. Uber to heaven. Let's Listen, go. the Uber has wings. hello and hello good morning let me show you guys my face because it's like you got y'all can't see me so hi good morning i'm so sorry if it's dark my lights are off because my my room's just too bright sometimes you know but um yes this is my outfit of the day i'm wearing this two-piece tracksuit of mine from h&m and i'm wearing my air force ones or whatever and i'm carrying my cute little bag my my suitcase is in my suitcase is like in the kitchen, but like I'm about to leave. I'm going home because I have the last test of the year. And then I'm done, guys. I'm done with this degree. Do you understand? So let us request this bolt go from one point to the next point so that I can go from one point to the next point in my career. Thank you. I will bow down my 
my life here before you see. 